Hello and welcome to this tutorial in Page Plus X9. Page Plus is a program made by Serif and they've uh, discontinued this program or rather made it a legacy program and it's still for sale on their website for $25 last time I checked and soon they're going to be coming out with a new program for uh, page layout and that will accompany the Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer. But this one is still a viable contender uh, to make things in and it works very well. So I'm just going to start off by changing this publication to Landscape. And then I want to change the ruler here to Pixels. So I just right click here and change it to Pixels and you see also down here that this changes to pixels on the transform. Okay, so first thing I want to do is bring some photos in here. So this is just going to be like a maybe a music lesson uh, flyer. And all I'm doing is dragging photos straight from the desktop into Page Plus. Let's see what else we got. bring this one in. So this one is in portrait. Oh, it was taken as portrait mode. So what I want to do is make it fit into a frame like this. So how you do that is go over here to the picture flyout and select rectangular picture frame. Just draw this in. And then after you got it pretty much in position, just drag that photo in again on top of the picture frame and it will put it in there. Now when you do it that way you see that you get some controls here and what you can do is zoom this in a little bit. If you hold the crop, uh, press on the crop button, click on it, you can hold down the control key on your keyboard and zoom this out by left clicking and dragging back and forth and then position it in by releasing the control key. So I got that one in and let's look at some of this other stuff. So maybe I want to put another photo in in this section. That's not going to fit. Let's try something else. Use that rectangular picture frame again draw this in here get it in the position and then put uh, something else in here and then next I'm going to put some text in here so I'll grab the artistic text tool and if you drag down see how that font is stretching that's how you get the you know basic size that you want before you start typing And then after that, you can click off of it to deselect it and change the font here just by highlighting the text box. Just click on the edge of the text box and then just make it something, I don't know, maybe that's okay. You can change the size of it, fits the artistic text like this. And also center it. Now there's another type of text box and that is the standard text frame. Sorry about that. And with this, you can either click on the box or highlight the text, click in the area here for changing the point size of the text and roll your mouse wheel back and forth. Or you can actually select the size or type it in and then press enter. So I got this design going on here and I kind of want to change a few things about it because some things don't match color wise. 
So I'm going to make these a dual tone color. So I'll just go in here and change a few things about this. I uh, notice the uh, photos are kind of washed out. So what I can do is go into the swatches palette here and add a shade by adding more black or a tint by adding more white. And kind of mute the colors down a little bit. So it's all made now. So what I've done is added the photos, put some colors on here to meet them, uh, make it kind of look a little different. And let's say that I want to change the photos because, you know, I got something else that I want to try out. So instead of making, uh, importing a photo and making the color and trying to get this all right, well, all I have to do is drag another photo on top of the text box or the picture box, sorry, and drop it in there and it picks up all the attributes that I applied to that frame which makes it nice now here's another one right here that I'm having a problem with I don't have the same controls as I have here because this wasn't a picture box so let's see what we can do convert to picture frame and that just wiped it out so I didn't want to do that so what we can do in a pinch is just pull this down here, make a another picture frame, and then drag the photo in there. Go to this one here and copy it, and then click on the newly made picture frame and paste format, and it picks it up, and then delete this one. Then after that, you can hold down the control key, zoom in a little bit, and get this where it's needed to be. So that basically concludes this tutorial. Kind of wanted to do an experiment here in the convert to convert to picture. No, that won't do it. So I thought maybe you can convert it to a picture frame and get the controls, but I don't know if that'll work. Let's try that. So if I did it like that and redrug this in, well, it does change it to a picture frame, but it's not the right one. So let's try something else. It's a little experiment. So I'll copy this first and then change it to a picture frame. And then drag my photo back in and then select it and then edit paste format so that's another way to do it that you can quickly solve that problem so that's about it really like the interface uh, if serif is watching this these arrows here to clap the collapse the palettes is just wonderful and how they fly out is another wonderful thing so I hope they put this in their new design program. Just such a wonderful thing. Uh, holding down the middle mouse button, you can move your design around. And uh, you can hold the control key down and zoom in. I think it actually zooms. It zooms uh, under whatever you have under your um, cursor will zoom in, which makes it really nice. Really nice feature. So that concludes this tutorial on how to make a simple flyer and do these things with it. And I hope to see you in the next one. And if you want Page Plus, uh, go get it before they're out. It's December um, 2017. And on the Serif website, I do a search for Page Plus X9 
purchase or something like that and you'll find it it's out there and grab it she can do like long publications with this you can do spreads um, the other neat thing I'll show you about these uh, pages before I let you go well it's a little bit too small but let's say you made a new page down here and the pages all don't necessarily have to be um, the same orientation I just have to find it again oh there it is portrait page sorry so now I have one portrait page and then I have another one that's in landscape so there's a lot of neat things like that you can do And it works for making catalogs, it imports Photoshop files, all kinds of things. Works very well. So, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Take care now. Bye-bye.